Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Microsoft Azure Cloud, Beginner to Advanced. In this video, we will go through Azure 305 Practice Case Study 2. You can go through the format of the case study. It contains basic details to keep in mind while solving case study like case studies are not timed separately, manage your time and judge each question independently. Let's start the case study with general overview. Overview Disc Corp Industries is a European-based company that has its headquarters in Paris, with offices in Antwerp, Munich, and Milan. Current Environment Active Directory Disc Corp Industries Network includes the following active directory forests, corp.discorp.com. A production forest containing identities used for in-house user and computer authentication. res.discorp.com exclusively for the research division. Furthermore, the forests have no trust relationships between them. Network infrastructure. A minimum of one domain controller from the corp.discorp.com domain is located at every office. All of the domain controllers for the res.discorp.com forest is located at the headquarters. Each office accesses the internet via a high-speed link. Discorp Industries has an existing application, named YWA1, which is hosted in the Paris Office Data Center. Discorp Industries clients utilize YWA1 for order placement and tracking. The application has a YWA1 has a web tier and a database tier that are deployed to Hyper-V virtual machines. The web tier and the database tier make use of Microsoft Internet. Information Services IIS, and runs Microsoft SQL Server 2016 respectively. Updates to YWA1 are tested via a different Hyper-V environment. All Microsoft licenses acquired by Disk Corp Industries are via a Microsoft Enterprise Agreement that includes software assurance. Challenges Users who utilize YWA1 frequently report interruptions at peak periods, while numerous resources are not used enough at other periods. Prerequisites Scheduled modifications The majority of Disk Corp Industries production workloads will be moved to Azure over a subsequent number of years. Disk Corp Industries intends to configure a hybrid identity model to facilitate an impending Microsoft Office 365 deployment. All R&D will remain on-premises. The production and test instances of YWA1 will be migrated to Azure, while research processes will remain on-premises. Technical prerequisites Updates to website content must occur centrally and effortlessly. In the event that new app instances are provisioned, user contribution should be reduced. To decrease expenses, current on-premises licenses must be used every time the possibility presents itself. Users should make use of their corp.discorp.com UPN identity for authentication at all times. New deployments to Azure should allow for redundancy in the event that an Azure region crashes. Platform as a Service pass, should be used for deploying solutions to Azure every time the possibility presents itself. All problems regarding the directory synchronization services must be brought to the attention of an email distribution group named IT Support. A connection breakdown between Azure and the on-premises network should not negatively affect directory synchronization between Azure Active Directory. Azure AD and CorpDiscCorp.com Database Prerequisites Database metrics relating the production instance of YWA1 must be on hand for examination to enable database administrators to allow for the optimization the performance settings. When databases are migrated, database interruptions should be kept to minimum so that client access is not interrupted. To meet compliance prerequisites, database backups should be kept for at least 7 years. Security prerequisites. Corporate, which includes policies templates, and data, should not be available to users who are not part of the anyone that is not part on the company. In the event that an internet connection crashed, the on-premises network users should have the ability to authenticate to corp.discorp.com if an internet link fails. 
Administrators should be able to use their corp.discorp.com credentials to authenticate to the Azure portal. Multi-factor authentication should be used to secure all administrative access to the Azure portal. Outside users should not be able to see the testing of YWO one updates. Let's solve the questions now. Question 1. You need to make sure that scheduled modifications regarding identity management can be carried out. Which of the following actions should you take? Your options are A. You should create a new forest before deploying the domain controllers. B. You should deploy domain controllers for corp.discorp.com to Azure Virtual Networks. C. You should deploy domain controllers for corp.discorp.com in the res.discorp.com forest. D. You should deploy domain controllers for the res.discorp.com forest to Azure Virtual Networks. Correct answer to question 1 is B. You should deploy domain controllers for corp.discorp.com to Azure Virtual Networks. Question 2. You are required to make sure that the authentication prerequisites are met. Which of the following is the least amount of Azure AD tenants required to achieve your goals? Your options are A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 Correct answer to question 2 is option A. 1 Question 3 You are required to make sure that the authentication prerequisites are met. Which of the following is the least amount of conditional access policies required to achieve your goals? Your options are A. 0 B. 2 C. 4 D. 6 Correct answer is option B, 2. Question 4. You are devising a data storage solution for YWO 1. Solution, you include a fixed-size DTU Azure SQL database in your solution. Does the solution meet the goal? Options are A. Yes B. No Correct answer to question 4 is option B, No. Question 5. You are devising a data storage solution for YWO 1. Solution, you include an Azure SQL database elastic pool in your solution. Does the solution meet the goal? Options are A. Yes B. No Correct answer to question 5 is option B. No Question 6 You are devising a data storage solution for YWO 1. Solution, you include a vCore-based Azure SQL database in your solution. Does the solution meet the goal? Options are A. Yes B. No Correct answer is option A. Yes Question 7 You want to make sure that the prerequisites regarding database retention is met. Which of the following should you configure for the database? Options are a. A conditional access policy B. A custom Azure policy definition C. A long-term retention policy D. An Azure multi-factor authentication registration policy Correct answer is option option C. A long-term retention policy Question 8 You are required to meet the prerequisites regarding the IT support distribution group. Which of the following actions should you take? Options are A. You should access Azure Network Watcher to achieve your goal. B. You should run the Azure Traffic Analytics tool to achieve your goal. C. You should configure a SendGrid connector to achieve your goal. D. You should access Azure AD Connect Health to achieve your goal. Correct answer is option D. You should access Azure AD Connect Health to achieve your goal. We hope that the content of this video will be helpful in your preparation of exam AZ305. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this and like this video. Have a good day. Bye.